Yeah, but Piggy Smalls moves and pushes Bear aside. Now he pushes Ginger aside as well. And Ginger's going to need to respond here. He's going to take control of this race. Bear and Ginger that emerge. And Smalls needs to do something special now. And they're going at fast pace. But he does on the near side. And he overtakes them with ease. I think he's going to get some down. He gets a course record. And he moves forward. Is he going to do the same on the second? Yes, he does. And Piggy Smalls is the first ever League of Pigs champion. Much has changed for Hoshi Oinku, although he is four pounds heavier, which is surprising given that he is on a diet at the moment. That said, he is an inch longer as well, so that could explain it. Mm. Hoshi didn't have the best season in season one, but this season two may be his chance. Mm. For now, let's just see the first race of season two. Door taking a while. Pepper Bear and Smalls charge forward and it looks like Pepper's going to be the first to the hurdle but she drops back and Smalls takes pole now no it looks like Bear's taking pole no nope, Smalls takes it back is Bear going to do anything at the end no she doesn't and it looks like the big American's dominance from season one is carrying over to season two he looks every bit as dangerous as he did in the finals the biggest disappointment of that race is Ginger who's nowhere to be seen on the podium that's very unusual for Ginger Hoshi was actually quite a big winner out of that race. He got a poor start and then managed to get third right towards the end. He even beats out Ginger, which is pretty impressive. It's little Pepper Sanchez. She hasn't changed much at all since season one, only gaining one pound in weight. She's one inch longer and she's got a one inch wider waist. But apart from that, it's all the same for Pepper. She has been struggling since the hurdles have started. Hopefully that changes in season two. Let's head over to the second race. Oh, and it's already started and Smalls has got his back turned and Ginger and Bear are taking advantage here. Bear's out in front. She extends forward as well, but Ginger looks like she's catching up. But no, falls back on the second hurdle. It looks like Bear's gonna wrap this one all up and does. And Piggy Smalls has been caught off guard there. I think that was an unexpected door drop, to be honest with you but he needs to be more careful moving forward. He's a great racer, but he cannot get complacent in this race. Bear and Ginger will punish you every single time you're not paying attention, and they did just there. Bear gets her first ever win of season two, so congratulations to Bear. And Ginger does get on podium for the first time, so congratulations to her. To be fair to Smalls, he did manage to come back and get third, so still a great performance from him, but a real mess up at the start. Now here is a pig that everybody's talking about. It is the one and only Piggy Smalls, the reigning champion of the League of Pigs. And he has changed a lot since season one. He's put on five pounds. That's the largest weight gain of any pig on the circuit. He was already heavy at 35 pounds, but now he's ballooned to 40 pounds in weight. And I suppose the question on everybody's lips is, will this weight advantage make this competition a one pig race? The door drops straight down and Hoshi easily gets the best start here. I think he's won it before it's even begun. He's easily out on the first one as well. Smalls is trying his best to get it and it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it. No, he does. And he takes it to the line. And that's a fantastic performance yet again from Piggy Smalls. And he is starting to look dangerous in round one of season two. Never mind the finals. Hoshi doesn't even go that slow. It's very impressive stuff from Piggy Smalls. Ginger tries to catch up as well, but she just does not have the speed that Piggy Smalls does. She's going about the same pace as Hoshi. And Hoshi isn't even stumbling as well. He hasn't even done a bad job of that race. He just simply isn't quick enough for the big American. And the others can only watch and admire as the current champion is just showing that he's not a one-trick pig. If there was any tragedy in season one, it would surely have been the fact that Ginger Hamilton did not win the first ever League of Pigs in front of a home crowd in the heart of England. But this isn't a fairy tale, it's sport. Yeah. And so Ginger needs to pull herself back together and get back yeah. on track and try and win her first ever championship. Let's see race four. 
And they're off, and they all get good starts. Ginger pokes her nose forward, but no small response. And he clears the first hurdle with ease. I don't think Ginger's going to catch up with him. Certainly not now. And Piggy Smalls is looking very, very comfortable in these races. He's done another quick time as well. And he's starting to really prove to the others that he is the best pig on the circuit. Not just in season one, but in season two as well. I don't know how the others are going to respond to such dominance. That 40 pounds of weight is really starting to make a difference here. And the others are going to have a really, really difficult time to catch up on these hurdles. You can see that Piggy Spores' starts aren't anything special, but he doesn't break stride on those hurdles. And I think that's really dropping his times in the hurdle races. Bear is an emotional pig. She can either run extremely quickly or she doesn't bother to race at all. And that really depends on if she feels like it on any given day. Round one in season one wasn't very good for Bear at all and it lost to the competition. She may well be in danger of doing the same in season two. Let's hope Bear feels like she wants to race today. Let's go to race five. And they're off and Ginger, Hoshi and Pepper get good starts here. Ginger's the first to approach the hurdle and she clears it with ease. Is she going to get her first win of the season? Hoshi comes back though and he clears that hurdle with ease. Is he going to get it? Ginger fights it though and I have no idea who got that. We're going to have to wait for race radio to confirm. They're giving it to Ginger. Interesting, that looked like Hoshi to me. We'll have to see that on the slow-mo. I must say... Hoshi had the performance of the season, certainly of his career anyway, as he cruised over that second one and he had a burst of speed right at the end. Very impressive. It's a noticeably better performance from season one. He finds himself in top two, top three placings, often at the moment. Let's just see that slow-mo. Oh, wow. How close is that? Mr. Oinku doesn't look like he's strictly sticking to his diet of just grass, but he is having quite a good round one for Hoshi, and it might not be so important to stay on that diet if he starts winning. Hopefully, Hoshi will get on to the winning and less on the dieting. Let's see round six. Off they go. And Ginger and Smalls have awful starts. The rest of them got off okay, though. Hoshi's in the lead. But Piggy Smalls has just cut up Ginger and he's going to cut Pepper. Surely he's not going to go for the win. He looks like he's going to get it as well. And he does. At the line, he just beats Hoshi Oinku and sets a near course record on the hurdles at the same time. That's a phenomenal performance. How Hoshi Oinku lost that from so far ahead, I will never know. Piggy Smalls is proving why he is the champion of the League of Pigs right now. And the others must be thinking, what am I in there with? How can I compete with such a dominant pig? He is so far behind. He takes care of Ginger. He takes care of Pepper. And then he does just enough to get his snout across the line before Hoshi. It's an extremely impressive performance from the large American. And I don't know what they're going to do. We are in danger of turning into the Piggy Small show at this rate. <laughs> Just look how he's moving Pepper with his weight. He's almost twice the weight of Pepper, and you can see that. He just pushes Pepper away, and it's a very smart move just to throw the little pig off for the final race. And they're off, and Piggy Smalls was sat the other way, but Ginger gets a good start. Hoshi's going well, though, and Hoshi now moves into first. Piggy Smalls is looking dangerous on the far side, though. And no way, Piggy Smalls gets it again, surely not. Piggy Smalls wasn't even looking the right way when they started. That is going to raise a lot of questions. Is this pig too good for this competition? Is he just simply too big? Will Mexico ever have a chance of competing against some pig that's nearly twice the weight? And there is no weight categories in League of Pigs as well. Piggy Smalls has a sensational round one. It's a really impressive performance, nevertheless. The league will have a lot of questions to answer before the next round, and the Cooney Cooney Warriors will not be happy. I think it's becoming clear that a bigger pig really does help in this competition, especially with the introduction of hurdles. That said, it's still an impressive performance by Piggy Smalls, who gets another five wins. Hoshi is also worth mentioning. He's now second. That's a place he's not used to seeing. Hopefully he can maintain that into the second round. We'll see you right back here for round two. And if you enjoyed the league, please consider subscribing. It really helps.